Hey everybody, I have had several requests to do a tutorial on the hair bows that Riley wears and um, I thought that it would be easier to do a video of it rather than typing out um, a whole blog post but in doing that I realized that unlike a blog post I can't go back and edit all the stupid things I say so I'm going to attempt to get through this video on how to make a hair bow without making a complete idiot of myself. So anyway, here goes. Um, the stuff you're going to need for the tutorial is listed up above. You're going to start with a yard of ribbon that you're going to cut into three sections. Two sections are going to be 13 inches and then the remaining one will be 10 inches. And I am using um, a grow grain ribbon for this one. It is like three quarters of an inch wide. You can go up to about an inch and a half wide. And you can use satin or really whatever you want. But I think the grow grain and the satin ribbon work the best for these type of bows. So anyway, once you have your three pieces cut, you're going to apply some type of a fray check to the ends of the ribbons. I have already done that because I make a giant mess of my fingers when I do it. And I didn't think I needed to do that on camera. So apply fray check to all your cut ends. And then once it's dry, you're going to make the loops for your bows out of the two 13-inch um, pieces. So you're going to take one of the 13-inch pieces, um, fold it approximately in half to make one loop, and then in half again to make the other loop, kind of like that. So you will have a loop on this side, a loop on this side, and then a little tail on one side. The other end, you're going to try to get as close to the center as possible because it's not going to show. And then you're going to take the whole thing, kind of scrunch it in the middle, and take a piece of wire and wrap it around. So there we go. It's kind of like that. And then you have a tail right here. So you're going to do that with both pieces of the 13 inch. I've done it with the other one already. And then you have two loops. You're going to take the sides with the tails and put them on opposite sides. So this one has a tail on this side, this one has a tail on this side. Put them opposite and then wire those two together. There we go. Okay, so now you have your loops of the bow. And obviously you can tell from the wire that I don't do a real neat job of it because it's going to be covered up here in just a minute. So now you need the center of your bow, which is what the 10 inch piece is for. And you're going to take it and just tie it in a really new, loose knot and try not to drop the ribbon. Like that, just a loose knot. Kind of make it look pretty like that. So then you're going to take your loops and put a little dot of hot glue and then you get to laugh at me while I burn my fingers which I do every time I use my hot glue gun. Put a dot of glue on top of the wire but you're not on top of that. And let that dry for just a minute. So then you have your loops a knot in the middle for your middle of your bow. Then you're going to turn it over backwards and take these loose ends and glue them down. So I'm going to put a dot of glue on the back of the bow, wrap this end around, glue it, and then you can cut off the tail here because you don't need that anymore. Then you wrap this other side around and glue it to the back and then cut that tail off. Then you knock over your glue gun and make a loud crash. So, as soon as I get the hot glue off my fingers, I will show you. So you are left with the bow with the knot in the middle. You can get rid of all your little hot glue strings here. Now it's gonna need a little bit of fluffing out before it looks perfect, but generally there's your bow. Then you are going to secure it to an alligator clip. And I get these at Hobby Lobby's or Michael's and they look like, like that. They're not very big. They come in a package like 
this. And the trick to not gluing your clip shut is to use a little piece of wax paper and just clip the clip to it. And then you're going to glue the bow to the top side, which is the side that has this angle. It has one side that's flat and one piece that's angled. The angled piece is the top. So I'm going to take my bow and the back side of it, I'm going to put some glue. And then I will take the clip that has the wax paper in between and just press it on there. And the wax paper will keep the two sides of the clip from being glued together. So as soon as that dries, you can open the clip and take the wax paper out. And it's not dry yet. <laughs> So while it's drying, you can fluff up the bow, make sure the loops are nice and big. And so there you have it. And then you can undo and you just gently peel off the wax paper and maybe rip it. There we go. And then that keeps the underside clip from being glued to the top part of it. And there you have your little hair clip. Ta-da! So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions and I will try to answer them um, in the comments.